Hello. Um, I just wanted to make a bit of an update about um, just uh, some of the stuff that I've uh, been planning on uh, <clears throat> to do with this channel, as well as also um, some stuff that I um, have not yet uh, put on the channel. Um, one is some sort of uh, video or just like a it's basically uh me doing like some sort of public access uh thing where somebody you know these gets uh has very like low quality uh, uh footage and they're doing something and then i've already filmed it i'm working on getting the uh, effect done to uh make it look old like some old public access uh broadcast that somebody taped off of uh, uh, TV back way back when with like a VCR and stuff so um, that'll be something that will probably be out within the next week um, I also plan for a film talk thing um, to do uh, the conversation um, some time ago I was asked if I was ever going to do that, and um, you know, I don't own the film, unfortunately. Um, I like to actually own the movies, you know, <clears throat> and one thing I haven't done is talked a whole lot about brand new movies I've seen out of the theater. You know, I haven't talked about Scream 5, I haven't talked about the new Top Gun or any of the other big stuff, uh, films that uh, uh, has uh, have been out, and um, I've kind of wanted to just sort of change some stuff you know how I approach things that way when they are out I can then talk about them um, I haven't gotten the Northman but I have seen that unfortunately I just have not you know and I'm not unfortunately that I've seen it I just, it's just unfortunate that I have just never bought it for whatever reason um, and there's really no reason for me not to have but uh, you know life happens you uh, some of the stuff that comes out, you know, either it's advertised very well or it's not. And for whatever reason, some of these releases just come out and you're just not expecting it to be out. And you're sort of shocked by it because it's like, well, when did this come out? Oh, it's been out for like, like two or three months now. Okay, what? And, uh, yeah, um, you know, there's just some stuff that is like new that came out this year I have seen but then there's other films like The Conversation um that you know I want to <clears throat> uh watch and talk about because it's been a long time since I've seen that film um I do enjoy it it's unfortunately for that film you know it's a Princess Ford Coppola film but that film got overshadowed by The Godfather 2, which came out the exact same year. So, you know, he had two excellent films in 1974. One just happens to be regarded as one of the greatest sequels ever made. And as a result, the original film, The Conversation, just didn't really get much uh, attention overall in terms of, you know, um, like, I don't been well since I've looked at the box office, but I don't think it did the greatest at the box office. Um, you know, it got nominated for three Academy Awards. Coppola got nominated for Best Picture and Original Screenplay and another award. I forget offhand what that was, but, you know, he lost to himself for Best Picture um, for Godfather part two because I believe he produced the conversation also I believe by that point he was just also gonna like produce every film he directed um, I could be wrong I, I believe that was correct no. um, but you know the reason I have not made that yet uh, is because well right now the internet is kind of wonky um, it's, the, it's August 26th and so hopefully the internet will be fine tomorrow for this to be 
uploaded at some point. And hopefully tomorrow or Sunday things will be good to then I can watch it on my TV to stream it because it's on Amazon Prime. Um, and I do have the app on my phone, but I'd rather watch it on t my TV, you know. Um, I've never had the opportunity to see this in, in the theater. Um, it's never been re-released as far as I'm, uh, as far as my knowledge. Um, at least nowhere near where I live. Um, but the conversation has been one that I've been interested in re-watching. I just have never bought the DVD or the Blu-ray. The Blu-ray isn't all that expensive. Um, uh, there was like a, like a five movie deal or bundle with some Coppola films, even though it's actually four, just two versions of Apocalypse Now. It's the theatrical and the redux. And it has the conversation. Um, and uh, I forget the other couple of films, but, you know, it's like I already have Apocalypse Now. And, um, you know, I don't really need a, another copy of it. Um, <clears throat> you know, I already have uh, the full disclosure uh, version, which is both the theatrical and the redux. And I have the uh, six disc uh, 4K version. So I've got those on Blu ray so I can, you know. Uh, but, you know, just out of the convenience, I just wanted to rewatch the conversation uh, 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 on my TV. But, of course, when I go to, when it's like around this time, like I'm, I want to do it now. Be a great time. But, of course, as soon as I do that, it's, you know, it's something happens. And that seems to be always the case. Just whenever you're going to do something for whatever reason, you put it off for whatever reason. Um, maybe you have no reason, such as my case. But finally, when you've decided, I'm going to you know, I'm gonna do it now, and it's a great time. And yet, something like this happens. And I'm like, of course, of course, something like this would happen at this time. But um, hopefully in the next few days, I will be able to get uh, the, the, I'll be able to get uh, things working with the internet it'll uh, be good apparently it's weak around here and I live in one of the oldest neighborhoods in Des Moines which on one hand you would think would be one of the very which would be the very first when it comes to like updating and upgrading it for things like uh, internet, better internet quality, you know, cell reception as, you know, time has gone on and stuff like that is, you know, big thing. No, of course not. It's always the newer neighborhoods. They get the new stuff before the old ones, which, you know, that makes sense. Uh, you know, in some roundabout way, I'm sure. Um, but hopefully in the next few days I can watch it properly because... Well, I can watch it on my phone. I'd, I'd rather not. I'd rather just be able to be um, search for it and find it and watch it. Um, because from what I recall, it's a good film. Um, so there's that. So I've talked about one thing I plan to do. Film talk and then, then the other sort of you know, a uh, little other video, whether that'll be the first of a new series, I don't know, that, you know, that public access thing, you know, and it could be nothing, you know, at the end of it all, just something I did for fun, just to see if I liked it, and if others responded, and if not, all right, <laughs> you know, I mean, I could keep making them, but it's like, at that, at a certain point, it's like, well, who, who's really watching and engaging and interested in that, um, which I guess kind of relates to something else, which is like uh, the video game stuff where I just point the camera at the TV and play. 
you know, I want to do at least a couple more of those. Finish out GTA 4 with the uh, episodes um, from Liberty City, you know, uh, The Lost and the Damned and uh, The Ballad of Gay Tony. Um, it's been a long time since I've uh, played those, but I've been playing them recently, again, here and there. And so, uh, just kind of getting familiar with it again. And um, hopefully soon I'll be able to put those up. And I know the video game stuff that I've done, it doesn't have a lot of attraction. Uh, doesn't They don't really gain a whole lot of views, nor any new audience uh, engagement. Um, but, you know, I like games, so I thought, what's the harm in doing something like this, you know. Of course, people have a lot of gaming channels. Those exist. Um, and I'm like, well, what can you do that's different? You know, point a camera at the TV, you know. Like way back when, before stuff was available uh, regularly or things were able to be uh, hooked up better where you're able to cleanly get footage from a game system or TV or whatever and then import that to the computer. Now I'm just going to do it how people uh, would have been able to have done that way back when. And uh, like if they wanted it just uh, right here and now yeah. <laughs> uh, playing it in people's discussion or commentary over the gameplay as it's happening. That'd be a way to do it. Point a camera at the TV as you're playing a game and there you go. Um, <clears throat> again, I know that uh, that's not a huge uh, draw in terms of uh, viewers, but um, I think from what I've been doing, I have a decent amount of viewers and uh, you know, I'm almost at 400 subscribers, which considering my channel, you know, started and uh, it created in 2008 and then since 2009, really, I've been very infrequent <clears throat> with uploadings for many years until, like, well, about 2014, 15 or so. I started to uh, make videos more regularly, and then 2016, really, I started to do the whole film talk thing, which was, like, in, like an every week thing, and, um... I enjoy doing that, but it's like, you know, you want to do this for fun, because if you just do it and it's like, well, it's like a job, or you treat it like that, it's not so much fun, and hence why I went from two times a week to just uh, one time a week, and also, you know, I've, I talk about stuff that, you know, after a while, people, you know, aren't as interested in anymore, like, you know, I uh, recently got quite a bit of subscribers because of the Better Call Saul video I made, which, thank you for those who watched it and, um, subscribed. Yeah, I do plan to make, a <clears throat> videos on all the seasons of Breaking Bad and Bre Better Call Saul, and also re-look at, um, or look at, uh, El Camino again between the two shows. Um, yeah, I do plan to do that. I just need that, at least the last season of Better Call Saul. Whenever that will come out, uh, I would imagine probably, you know, I would uh, late this year or so. Um, I would think, but you know, it just ended, so who knows when that will definitely be out. Um, but yeah, um, that will be something that I'll, of course, have to watch all the seasons again, and um, maybe after each season, I will. Um, collect my thoughts, and then discuss <laughs> what I think about all of them, which, I'm sure I love all the seasons of both, both shows. You know, I still love El Camino, um, regardless of how necessary or unnecessary it was to that world. Um, still a nice little epilogue, I think, and I just really enjoy um, that world, and it's over now. And while that's unfortunate, you know, all good things come to an end. Um, 
and it's nice to be able to have a big like collection of stuff that way you can watch from uh, beginning to end and uh, whenever that comes out on blu-ray I will get it and then that will probably be something to where soon afterwards I'll probably you know dive back into all that and then uh, watch it all um, all over again and yeah I just wanted this video to to say hello and just give an update of what what is to come not only in the near future but later on um, I have a lot of ideas of course for stuff like videos and other things but you know you got to do one thing at a time it's you know you know doing one thing after another uh, doesn't always work out <laughs> um, because you could you know depending on whatever it is you want to do um, you could possibly overwork yourself and that's not always good so you know you got to pace yourself and you got to take one thing at a time and if you're able to do multiple things you know Maybe not necessarily at once, but back to back, you know, then great. Um, but otherwise, just I, I want to take things one at a time. That way I can present things in a way that's, you know, very good for, um, you know, good quality for the channel and everything. And it'll grow more. Um, you know, I thought, you know, if I had... <laughs> been fairly consistent ever since I began this channel, you know, just uploading here and there more, at least like once or twice a month, you know, who knows, maybe I'd have a thousand subscribers by now, maybe more, um, but, you know, sometimes it takes a while, you know, for something like this to have, uh, grow, and, um, also, it's like, you know, you, you, you don't always think of stuff to uh, really talk about at first. You know, I wanted to make short film stuff, but then after a while, it's like, you know, you know, a lot of friends, you know, either are, you know, get busy because of life or they, some move and, uh, you know, you might stay in talk, uh, contact, but, you know, you don't always have, uh, you're not always able to get together with some people because life and how things are going but yeah you know, you know you do what you can to make the best and you know, I've tried to done, do that before with the shorts that I've done you know not always great obviously but you know you do what, the best with what you can you know if you don't have a whole lot but yeah that's really uh that's really it um just wanted to give a heads up and um uh, uh, thank you for those who have uh, just uh, <clears throat> you know subscribed uh, to me recently. Um, it's, it's very nice, and I hope you'll enjoy the content. You know, even if it's not Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul related, immediately after the last video I made. Um, hopefully, you'll still enjoy it. And um, also, in the link below, you can uh, buy my uh two books that i've got on amazon um if you want um uh, you know, first book i wrote was um it's a western uh the wandering sheriff it's about a bounty hunter looking for a gang of criminals um and the second is a, a three it's a book of short stories and there's three of them um Though in the format that I originally had it in before I had to convert it to everything, uh, the book was quite shorter. Now it's over 200 pages. So, uh, but you know, I wanted to do something different after having a book that's one long story. I kind of wanted just to see if I could do multiple short stories like that, you know, that are shorter. And um, you know, I'm fairly happy with how they turned out. It's pretty. You know, I thought it was pretty interesting and pretty cool, but. Of course, that's just me. Um, but yeah, I uh, that's 
you know, just if you're interested at all. If not, that's fine. Um, you know, but you can check out my link tree anyway if you want, just to see all the other uh, places like social media, like Twitter and Instagram and all that stuff. Um, basically, I just made up an account on Buy Me a Coffee. I don't really know what that was really for, but I've seen other people who have just a little more subscribers than me uh, have stuff where I can pay them for whatever. Um, of course, you know, for me, I want to make movies and stuff, so, you know, anything. I guess there's that, you know. <laughs> Um, but I don't really have any particular sort of, like, special things if you go and, you know, uh, donate a certain amount. Um, other than perhaps, like, certain posts or whatever that it could be make to make there. Um, I don't think it's anything like video or anything. It's not that I, at least I don't think so, but I could be wrong. You know, I've heard of buying me a coffee for some time. I just recently looked into it. So, you know, I don't really expect too much from that. But you never know uh, what will happen. But so there's that. You can just go on my link tree and just see what there is. And there you go. Um, yeah. I'm not a complete chill or anything, because if I was, I would have put all that at the very beginning. You know, here it's at the end, and maybe some of you might not have watched all the way to the end. And if so, all right. But for those who have, thank you very much. And, um, yeah, I hope all of you are doing well and are having a... I've had a great week and are having a great weekend. And, I'll, and I hope you'll have a great week next week. But even whenever you see this, um, yeah, uh, but uh, take it easy, and I'll see you all next time.